The days were hot. Fish died in the lake. Plants yellowed. Birds stopped singing. There was thunder, but no rain. You call this period the Great Ecological Catastrophe. I heard my mother's heartbeat as she carried me to Alphaville. People chased us. I remember her driving and bison running by. Then we reached the flooded city with refugees in rubber boats. Suddenly, I couldn't find Mama. I was scared and alone. I'll never know whether she died or abandoned me. I only remember the rockets leaving for Mars. That night, the fighting started. I ran deep into the forest. A she-wolf found me and raised me with her cops. People who didn't make it into the rockets were dying in combat and from the mutating environment. But we, the orphans and animals, didn't fight. Instead, together we adapted to nature that grew out of the rubble. Many moons passed, and then one day, some humans returned. They called themselves Martians. They flew around dressed in yellow. They went hunting and played golf. I would steal their golf balls for fun. It really upset them. But then one day, I found a dead Martian. I took off his helmet and put it on. There was music playing in it. After years of only speaking wolf, I listened to the Martian radio and learned human language again. After the group left, one full moon later, I was chasing a tasty bug when another spaceship with new Martians arrived. It soon became clear they were trouble. Greetings all you Tesla City Martians out there, you're listening to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. The show for those who miss the morning run in the park, slurping minestrone soup, sailing with the wind in their hair, singing in unison with thousands of people at a music concert, or smelling the coming rain. In other words, the show for the long lost day of Radio Oh, <laughs> 
starting off the show with Son of No One, a song I'm fairly certain resonates with many of us orphans of the earth out here in the stuffy depths of space. Speaking of stuffy air, please don't attempt to open portal windows to let some fresh air in. It's unbelievable that we have to mention this, but we're living in pressurized domes, people. Breathing in recycled air is just the new air. In totally unrelated news, the memorial of Baroness von Willemschitt will be held in private and the family asks gold diggers and paparazzi to respectfully stay away from the funeral ceremony being held in the Section C cafeteria on the day floor at 7 p.m. dollar time. All right, on with the show.
Ah, a little toddler pop there taking us back to the days of late stage capitalism at its finest. Child labor never sounded so sweet. On that note, it's time for another story, a look back at life on the open road, and a look forward to the long road ahead. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama, radiant nostalgia from Mars. Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of life. I'm serious. I tried to recreate that. I knew I could take over the company. Instead of being an entitled little brat whose father would pay for her theatre career, I turned the company into a trillion dollar business. And now, here I am with my family and Mars, among the last representatives of humanity in the universe. But aside from this high-minded idealism, life has no meaning. Because of these damn EBA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. On Mars, even if you manage to get outside, you're still trapped in the bubble of your own stale air. No matter where you go, isolation clings to you. Unlike the open road, it's an experience of void and wholeness. There's no dancing asphalt in the heat, and no neon lit diners, and 2 a.m. omelets with green bell peppers, and yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns. Greasy bacon and black coffee. Instead, there's this barren rock. And strictly monitored oxygen levels in sterile domes. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we are, but I wonder. Just maybe we're just fooling ourselves. Just like during my epic life, we've mostly figured out the banal questions about water and food and sanitation, and now the greater questions are looming. What are we really doing here? What is our future? And what will the meaning of life be for my kids? At any rate, the point is, I miss my darling. That's all. Thank you for taking us on that ride with you, Bujana. Your story is an inspiration for all and reminds us to face our difficulties head on and to value the small things in life, even out here on Mars. Motorcycles, grease, wind in the hair. What better way to remember than the some psychedelic rock for the road? Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Some music to meditate, mediate, and procreate. We made it. We're safe here on Mars. We are the Alpha and Omega of humanity. With the aid of Omas, of course. 
pure calm in a can. I crouched near three members of your Martian expedition. The rest of your group were out in the field. I hoped to make friends, but when you saw me, you froze. Stopped picking plants and whispered among yourselves. You seemed very scared and confused. Amazed that I could breathe without a suit. You rushed towards me, so I ran. You really thought you could hunt me down? <laughs> Hello all you Martians out there, it's time for another round of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. To Soul's episode is an energetic little force of nostalgia from the good old days.
some upbeat grooves for some upbeat news. As you may well know, the board of directors have founded a club for going on exploratory return visits to Earth. The primary expedition launched several years ago, and Tesla City authorities are proud to announce that the secondary expedition, a select group of our eminent board members, has arrived on Earth in the vicinity of Alphaville. The purpose of their expedition is to research, collect samples, and conduct measurements of the air, water, and soil to establish toxicity levels back on Earth. Of course, our intrepid Tesla City leaders will use the opportunity to squeeze in a game of golf. Nothing beats Earth's gravity, and urban rubble covered in nature makes for a challenging course. So let's wish them the best of luck. Work hard, play hard, keep up the morale. He won't stop until we make Mars the best it can be. Avoiding the nets, the same ones you used on my wolf brothers and sisters. This whole hunt was for so-called research purposes, to see if humans could return here one day. But even with jetpacks, you still couldn't navigate our new terrain. I am a nimble earthling, while you need so much gear just to stay alive.
Welcome back all you Martians out there. You're tuned to Tesla City's number one radio station for music, stories, news and views related to Earth. Reminding us all that even out here on Mars, one fact remains. We still circle around the same old <laughs> A friendly reminder, anyone attempting to opt out of their randomly assigned Martian duties will have their water temperatures <laughs> reduced and anyone paying them.
run around Alphaville. Oh yeah, it's time for another episode of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Any soul now, we're hoping to hear from our intrepid Earth explorers who are currently working hard right now collecting botanical, animal and geological samples to test the viability of us returning back to Earth in the near future. I do hope they have time to catch a breath with all that hard work they're doing for us. It's all gone. No time for denial, the bird is on trial And people are vile, our corporate smiles With multiple stars, and spit our crimes While children die, and we all comply And then our shit's fry, and then our shit's fry And then our shit's fry Here comes the big grind up Run Here comes the big leaf finder Run Here comes the big grind up Run Here comes the big leaf finder Blood cup run No time for denial, the bird is on trial And people are vile, our corporate smiles With multiple stars MCAIT there proving to be very popular amongst the youth of Mars these days and a track called Run Cup Run. Not enough space up here for that, <laughs> but well placed fitness zones do provide basic training simulation facilities, so why not drop by for a virtual run and update your bone density shots while you're there? It must be beautiful, exhilarating, sublime to be back on Earth. I'm pretty sure some of our feel of Earth related news and views.
Your Martian trio was getting tired. You should have realized Earth was not your planet anymore. This wasn't the homecoming you were expecting at all. Enraged, only the captain went on with the pursuit. For him, this turned into an obsessive safari hunt. But he was also exhausting himself as I lured him deeper into the forest. I'm up in the multiverse to help fight Turbo Tornado. There's the green flashlight. What are you doing here? Who invited him?
took the captain's helmet. Together with my wolf brothers and sisters, we ate the Martian. Bruised and tired, but with a full stomach, I went on. I found myself in an industrial area when I saw a tiny spaceship crash land in the distance. Eventually, I would meet the lonely Martian that came out of that spaceship. Greetings, Radio Nostalgia from Mars fans. As you, our loyal listeners, already know, our friends on Earth are examining all the possibilities for establishing a base. regular returns. Great news for us all, we're hoping to go back on vacation to show our children what we so dearly cherish and miss. As of this episode, we have not yet heard from anyone back on Earth, but they must be very busy with important research and are unable to reach out to our listeners with snippets of earthly life and atmosphere due to their intense workload. I'm sure we'll hear from them soon. Besides, they must be enjoying themselves immensely being back in real gravity.
places. We meet here. Martian from the crash ship was different from you. He was alone, and he flew, and walked slowly. He would sit in one spot for a long time, and then curl up and sleep right there, in the open. When I finally approached him, he didn't try to chase me. He took off his helmet and extended his open hand. So Charlie and I became friends. Charlie told me stories about Earth before the great ecological catastrophe, about his life in Alphaville, how he became a pilot for the mission to Mars. He didn't know anything about my mama. After years of guilt and sadness, Charlie felt he was finally home, although our mutant environment was slowly killing him. Charlie taught me to read, biology, medicine, Physics, history, literature. 
I devoured it all. I taught him to hunt. He taught me about machines. Oh, he also told me not to eat humans. I showed him how to communicate with animals. We spent a lot of time in the Asa building, the place where his rocket launched during the evacuation to Mars. It brought up so many memories. Then one day, an old drone spotted us flying around and attacked us. Radio nostalgia from roaming the ruins around Alphaville and uh, playing golf. It has been revealed that he has been severely depressed over the past few years whilst working as an Orinoco water delivery driver. We're hoping Charlie, who is a long-time listener of RNFM, will reach out to us. So Charlie, this is for you. Come back. 
dom daleko od domu. Rady nostalgia z Marsa. News of Charlie's departure has sent a shockwave through the city and stories have been pouring in. Let's hear one now. События, воспоминания, старые добрые времена, оригинальные источники, подлинные истории, надежда, вдохновение, драма, радионостальгия с Марса. I don't know what I'm doing up here on Mars, to be honest. Luck of the draw, I guess. I really didn't want to come, but my company insisted. Oh, on way to Mars. It was a single ticket too. Bribes for more seats didn't work. So I was forced to leave my family behind. That's awful. I would have preferred to go under the waves with my wife and kids. Better than eking out a lonely existence in this hellhole. <laughs> the company no longer even exists. What a joke. I gave up everything to end up scrubbing air filters and crawling in my belly through endless nights. We're not really allowed to talk about it, but a few of the ships didn't make it. I often wish I was on one of those that fell back into the atmosphere and burned the cinders in the sky. Anyway, despite it all, I did find a new hobby of sorts crawling around below the city. I started messing about with the acoustics in the access tunnels. Some of them are miles long and just about any sound down on them becomes beautiful and haunting. I'm no Pavarotti, but I did find a new joy in singing to my kids. I feel the bored of me sometimes, peeking through my toolbox, asking question after question. What's this, Papa? Where do these go, Papa? What does this do, Papa? And I take them in my arms and sing to soothe them. Forgive my singing, but I thought maybe I shared some with them. I grow weary singing to fading memories in the dark. Ah, kotki dwa, szaro bure obydwa. Nic nie będą robiły, tylko was bawiły. Ah, kotki dwa, szaro bure. Obywa. Nic nie będą robiły, tylko was bawiły. Wow, powerful stuff. Loss is something we've all had to deal with in our own ways since we left billions behind on Earth to die. Grief is never easy to process, and we're no strangers to that hardship. That's just the way it is on Mars for now. But you can do your part to maintain and raise morale by keeping to your inner voice while traversing public spaces. Overly emotional outposts in public will soon earn a social demerit and a timeout in the dome's outer shells to literally cool down. So if you are feeling overwhelmed or about to crack, crack open a tube of OMAS instead. Application has never tasted so good.
We're losing him. Not on my watch!
two tracks back to back there, first a little lullaby to float on by, and then taking things in a slightly different direction. End of an EDM to soothe and uplift the soul. This one is soothing and uplifting the soul. An anonymous listener has kindly sent in a lullaby for us. So let's sit back, relax, and reminisce with her right here on Radio Sasha from Mars. Charlie told me you wouldn't leave for Mars before you caught us. Supplies were running low, and you were afraid to return to Mars without the captain. You'd face the Tesla City Tribunal. All dreams of promotion would vanish, and the riddle of my immunity would remain a mystery. But Charlie was growing pale and weak, so I hid him safely in Alphaville, and I ran back to your group to use myself as bait. Hello all you Martians out there, welcome to another episode of Radio Nostalgia from Mars. So we've been receiving quite a few lullabies and children related stories since a rumor started spreading that our team has spotted a child living in the vicinity of Alphaville, which of course is impossible. Rest assured, this is a complete falsehood. What has been officially confirmed by the Tesla City authorities is that Charlie has escaped to Earth and landed safely, but they are worried that without supplies he won't survive more than a few weeks. Our researchers on Earth are definitely trying to reach him. Opening to Soul Show, a song often requested by Charlie himself. This one's for you, sir. Keep safe out there. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars.
Keep that adrenaline pumping, that joy for life jumping. Four to the floor, who could ask for more? You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars, music from the last days of Earth. Humanity's calling cards make the best of a bad situation, and at no time in our history has this been more apparent than now. Adversity has always been the most of your time. The apocalypse is a good motivator. The coincidence that we are at the right distance from the sun is the reason we exist, so we might as well have some fun. This blue dot in vast space is where I drink my coffee, plan a way to leave a trace as a member of the human race. <laughs> Us, the same juices flow, streaming in body and mind. We're myopic and beautiful, rushing to the end of mankind. Humans will be survived with plastic bags and. Same juices flow, streaming in body and mind, we're myopic yet 
Sam's murder and later. The coincidence that we are in right is the reason we exist, so you might as well have some fun. This blue dot in vast space is where I drink my coffee blend and wait for me to trace as a member of the human race. Drew off the same juices flow, streaming in body and mind, where my outfit gets beautiful and rushing to the end of mankind. Apocalypse motivator, 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 the apocalypse motivator. for our trap. Charlie is here at the stadium, like a chieftain among the feral children of Alphaville. Earth doesn't belong to you, those who abandoned it, but to us, who grew up in the rubble you left behind. Do not return. This planet will not be colonized. It is not your playground, your lab, or your property. You will not take its resources to Mars. We, the barbaric orphan, will not be your tools for sustaining the futile experiment of your oxygen-deprived civilization on Mars. Do not come again in your spaceships, slugging your weak bodies in those silly suits. If we spot you again in these landscapes, we will devour you all. What you on Mars see as the post-apocalypse is now our home. The future of Earth belongs to us. Thank you.